Since January 2021, a team of dietitians and laboratory technologists from Lira and Gulu universities have been working on developing new food recipes to manage malnutrition among children in northern Uganda. The decision was informed by an earlier research carried out in 48 health facilities in Lango and Acholi sub-regions. From research done by other researchers, there is evidence that nodding syndrome cases are lacking items like selenium in their blood and other items, which when we were developing this recipe, we incorporated food items that are locally available into this recipe. We needed to know how big the problem is in the, in the two sub-regions. So we had to do profiling, we had to map to check how many of these people are really that malnourished. And we compared this with what is at national level. So we were able to get the prevalence of uh, moderate acute malnutrition. To give more validation to their findings, the team based on two main indicators. Indicator of wasting, where the child's weight for height is below the reference values. Then also we are looking at stunting, where the child's height for age is also below the reference. A child is shorter than is or a hedge. For easy accessibility to the locals, the product had to be developed out of locally generated food ingredients. We are using sorghum. Someone may say, why sorghum? Sorghum is the most uh, consumed food, uh, energy giving food in actually sub-region. In Laos sub-region, we have uh, specialized on uh, maize. So other items are chai seeds, this is very rich in selenium, which we are targeting specifically to nodding disease. Uh, we are using beans, we are using soya, we are using um, silverfish. Now, after months of research and laboratory analysis, the scientists confirm that they have entered the second stage of product development, which is being sampled in selected areas with high cases of nodding syndrome and malnutrition in the two sub-regions. We have already done sensor evaluation. That was done in Kitgum. Pacholi sub-region and Kole districts in Laos sub-region. For it to be complete, the product will go through four stages of product development before it is rolled out for public consumption. The first step is actually the, 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 the formulation of the composite of these food products which are rich in different nutrients. We then have to do sensor evaluation because we shall formulate very many lines. After the sensor evaluation, we then have to do stakeholder perception analysis. Much as it was expected to be introduced earlier this year, this has not happened. You know, this is research-based and it has to undergo several approvals. First of all, you write a protocol, you write a proposal on how you are going to do it, and this has to be reviewed. A number of scientists who have been researching about nodding syndrome around the world point to the fact that proper nutrition is very important in the general improvement of those suffering from the disease. Now back here, the brains behind the recipe say that its effectiveness can only be assessed after completion of the efficacy test that is expected to take three months from now. It is then that a final report and recommendation will be made as to whether the product can be rolled out. Nelson Omoya, NTV.